Hello and welcome handheld gamers. So in today's episode we're going to have a look at RPCX2 emulation, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator on the 1X Player 4800U. So there's a few caveats today. Firstly, you will need to use a balanced power plan and you'll need to use your turbo button. This is not a very well optimised emulator, I would say. It's, it's optimised for gameplay, but not necessarily power draw. Mm. So a few settings you'll need to be aware of in RPCX2. You'll have to download the RPCX2 emulator. You'll also have to download a BIOS file for it. Once you've installed that, there's a few more settings you'll need to look at. Now, one of the quirks I've found is all the instructions online seem to suggest you use boot ISO full. And in my case, that just loads up the PlayStation 2 main screen and the option to pick you know, your CD and they don't load. So I have to use boot ISO fast or... If you just pick an ISO that you've already played, it'll just boot automatically. Now in the config settings, you will need to set up in video. Now I looked in video settings first thinking that was where you set everything up and I picked a, a custom resolution to fill the screen. That, that's not where you change that. Just ignore that. Leave that as it is. and let, I mean, Just leave the aspect ratio to off default. This means that widescreen games and non-widescreen games will fit properly. You need to go back into... Video GS and then down to plugin settings. And in here, you'll want to set your adapter to your AMD Radeon. It'll just be set to a default one to start with. You'll uh, need to change internal resolution to 3x native, so that upscales it to 1080p. And then in shader configuration, you can set texture filtering and FXAA and shade boost. Just turn them all on. And go into your ISO selector, you can browse to where you've stored your ISOs. Uh, once you've loaded the game one time, they'll just stay uh, persistent. There's a few games in here that I've not added in before, so I've got about 20 games in here, which takes up about 50 gigs, so it's, it's quite good efficiency-wise when it comes to storage. And the games will just load up automatically in a separate window. Maybe not. I think that worked. So if I say boot ISO fast, yeah, first time load, it'll, uh, you need to go boot ISO fast. After that, it'll just load the ISO really quickly. As you can see graphically, this this looks uh, you know really pretty nice. Hard to believe most of these games are twenty plus years old. So you'll be aiming for sixty FPS. If you see it dipping below sixty FPS, and you will see that in. Um, Gran Turismo 3, for example, I'll drop down to the low 50s before speeding back up. You will see a slight performance dip then. Let's quickly create a new game here. And you'll see already, oh, it's dropped down to 8 watts, but I was pulling about 17 watts there. I've found so far in-game, you could be pulling anywhere up to 27 watts in some of these games. Emulation on the PS2. It's tough. Uh, the One X player manages quite well. You will see 60 FPS. The games will be very playable. They'll look absolutely lovely. But the power draw will be quite high. Some of these lighter games like this may actually be okay. Yeah, so in this case, we're drawn. Well, it's gone up to about 18 watts now. But look at this. This is lovely and smooth. There's one example. So this simpler game, we are pulling 13 to 17 watts. But rock solid, 60 watts, uh, 60 FPS, pulling about 15 watts. Splat. Okay, now let's try a different game. For example, let's try a bit of. Let's try about Grand Theft Auto. Now, where's that? Grand Theft Auto 3. So, hit reset. And the game will load up here. Again, solid 60 FPS. The power will go up to, I think in this game, close to 20 watts. And the fans will pretty much always be turning. Although, there's not really much heat coming out. As you can see, this looks really good in the 1X player. I'm 
Now, would I suggest you buy the remastered versions of some of these games? Absolutely, you know, piracy is not a great thing. But if you already own these old games, and I do own these games on original PS2, I don't feel too bad about emulating them. As you can see, 60 FPS. Oops, we're pulling about 20 watts there. You know, the fan speed is definitely rising. So there you go. Pretty playable. Oh, wrong place at the wrong time. Sorry, buddy. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Don't want to be in that ambulance when I'm driving. Okay, let's try another game. So, uh, a good example of one a game that draws a huge amount of power is Ratchet & Clank. I mean, at three times resolution, 1080p, it looks, looks lovely. This is a game I've played on multiple platforms. PSP, PS2, PS3. Remastered on the PS4. Let's just get into the game. Let's just get past these cutscenes. Now, the cutscenes don't draw a lot of power. About 9 watts there, we're seeing peak. But again, fans are still turning at a fair old rate. Look at that. No stuttering. Graphically looks really good. 60 FPS locked. But at the moment I'm pulling about 22 watts. So yes, run out of three times native resolution, 1080p. Games run like a dream. Just don't expect your battery to last all day. You're probably going to get a maximum of two hours emulation. But that isn't the end of the world. Remember, there's always the option of plugging in a remote battery pack. And I have got a couple of recommendations on uh, the description below. I use both these power supplies. The Anchor one is particularly nice looking. The Charmast one, what else? A bit budget. Does the job fine. Takes a bit longer to charge up. It does have a larger capacity, but it appears to also charge a little bit slower. So, would I recommend installing RPCX2 on your One X player? I would definitely say yes. You can install a lot of games and take up a very small amount of capacity on your your NVMe drive, or they'll probably run quite well from the SD card. And remember, these games originally ran from a DVD, so even the SD card speeds will be pretty reasonable, I would say. Oops, that was a mistake. So, thanks for watching. I think I might just carry on playing this for a little while. Catch you all in the next one. Thanks. <laughs>